I'm Ralph Josephowitz, and I chaired the Education SIG yesterday. And the topic was the ACGME Milestones Project. So the ACGME is the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education, and they are in charge of credentialing and accrediting all residency programs. The ACGME has developed a new system of accrediting programs called the Next Accreditation System that will rely less on process and site visits and more on outcomes and specifically a series of milestones that neurology residents will have to accomplish as they progress through the residency. The Neurology Milestones Group has developed 32 of these milestones and they are in three categories including general categories, subspecialty categories, and procedural categories. And residents would be expected to enter at a level one and graduate at a level four at least. Our meeting yesterday included a panel of six individuals including Steve Lewis from Rush who is the chair of our milestones group for the ACGME. Uh, Larry Faulkner, the president of the ABPN, David Gordon, who's a chair of neurology at Oklahoma, and he represented a chairman's perspective, Sarah Walster, who was a chief resident in neurology from Massachusetts General Hospital, and Geraint Fuller from the Association for British Neurologists. I was representing the program director since I'm the residency program director at the University of Rochester. We had a very spirited discussion, and the conclusion was that although the milestones are very appropriate for neurology. Incorporating 32 milestones to evaluate residents every six months could be very tedious. The milestones committee is meeting for the final time this November and we will use all of the comments from the meeting as we finalize the milestones for incorporation in 2014. Thank you.